Okay, so today I'm gonna show you just a pretty simple juicer. I didn't add like any slots for drainage or anything like that, just the basic juicer form. So I have about um, a pound and a half of clay. And I'm just gonna get that centered. Just like any project, you want to think about the shape that you want to end up with. And set your intention with the size of the dome after you get done centering everything. This is some reclaim, so I'm just coning up. And then coning back down just to try to get out any of the air bubbles that might be in there. Because we all know I do not like wedging. I did wedge this a little bit, but... Okay, so this is about a pound and a half of clay. Okay, so when I make this form, I do two openings. I do an opening in the middle and then I pull that back and then I do the second opening in the to make the well for the juice. So I am going to take my finger and I'm going to do the same step that I do when I'm just opening up but I'm gonna go all the way down to the bat, so my finger touches the bat. And I'm just gonna check to make sure it's all back on center. And then I'm just gonna start pulling out a little bit, okay, to make, this is gonna be the diameter of my middle section that I'm gonna pull up to make the actual like reamer part. So I'm just gonna make this is probably maybe like a inch and a half diameter, okay, all the way to the bat. And then I'm just gonna start flattening out this donut part. And it's kinda like how you make a plate. If you wanna use your fist, you can. And I'm gonna start cleaning up this middle part. And I don't want to go out too far because it'll make like a really big, um, like a great fruit juicer. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to take my finger in the middle of this donut ring and I'm going to push down to make that well for my juice to go. And you can go down um, about a quarter of an inch to before you meet the bat head. So the same as if you're making a base on your piece. And if you need to test it, you can use your needle tool and just give it a little poke. Okay. And you're just going to do a little bit of compression with that. Okay. And if you want to, at this point, you can pull that out a little bit and start pulling up this wall on the out the outer wall that's going to be where your juicer catches your juice so you can decide how high you want that to be um, and you can just play with it and adjust the height and um, you know take some time and look up some juicers online and just see like different designs that people do there's a lot of oops, see got a dry piece of clay in there there's a lot of different ways that you can alter this basic form okay 
right, so next I'm gonna start making the reamer section in the middle. So I'm gonna dry out this center part. And what I like to do is take my finger on the inside here and just undercut that a little bit more so I don't have to do like as much trimming because it's kind of a difficult form to trim if you don't have a chuck or anything, like a custom chuck made for it. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little bit of clay that's in the middle and this is gonna become a closed form. Okay, like a bottomless closed form. So I'm just gonna start carefully pulling up my walls and I'm pushing a lot more with my outer finger than I am with my inner hand because I want to start making this come together. Okay. So I'm going to bring up all this clay from the bottom. So I'm really coming where it holds the juice and I'm trying to move all that clay up. in this volcano I want it you know I wanted to make it a volcano shape instead of pulling out so I'm trying to close this dome in the middle so I'm sticking my finger all the way to the bottom and I really want to try to pull as much as I can to get a lot of weight out of it and pull it up to the top now you want to leave it a little you know you can you can thin it out you can you can you want to make everything like an even thickness so you want to have everything about a quarter of an inch thick um, because remember you're going to want to carve the juicer after it gets to be I would say like a soft leather hard so you can add like those swirling lines that helps you do the juicer so right now I'm just collaring I'm starting at the bottom and I'm going all the way to the tip and I'm just closing up that dome that that reamer part of my juicer Okay, and I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna go all the way up and close, and you can, if you want, you can even just pinch off a little of the top and really make sure it's nice and sealed up there. You can decide how pointy you wanna make um, this top part up to you then I have some air trapped in there so if I want to do any kind of shaping um, of that reamer part I can I'm just gonna get some of this water that had pulled in the juicer part out okay so I'm just gonna clean everything up with my rib I'm gonna get all the slip off of my dome here and just decide if I like the shape. Gonna clean this up. Somehow I got like a chunk of something in my clay probably because my wheel is so dirty okay so I'm all cleaned up I have this air trapped in um, I have the air trapped in my dome so if I want to do any shaping I can I'm just gonna wet my hands um, I'm gonna put like a little indent at the bottom so when I juice it it falls like, down a little bit so it looks more like a reamer instead of just like a dome on top. Let's straighten that back up. Got a little off center. You have the air in there that can help you so you can, you know, 
manipulate it a little bit, the shape a little bit more. Okay. And you can see it got a little off center. Um, so this isn't the easiest of projects, um, but you know, give it, give it three tries. See what one you like the best. You can always give them away for gifts. <laughs> um, and if you stop your wheel, you can't even tell. So I think that I'm just going to leave it like that. I might go ahead and wipe off um, the extra slip that I got on there and just compress this juice basin part again. And then I'll show you how to do the little spout. So if you get all the slip and you haven't overworked this part of your piece too much, you can go ahead and do the spout right away, the pouring spout. So what you do if you want to do that is you're just going to, I take, um, I take my thumb and my middle finger and I hold it where I want my spout to be against the, the bottom of the piece. And then I take my pointer finger on my other hand and I'm just gonna kind of do this like U shape motion while I'm pushing in a little bit. And that's kind of stretching the clay out a bit, making it a little bit thinner and then I can decide um, like how big I actually want my spout to be too. And I can just pinch my fingers in a little bit more while I'm pushing the spout out. Okay. So you could add, if you wanted to, you know, you could add a handle, you can make the sides bigger. If you want the sides to be a little bit bigger, I would probably suggest maybe starting with instead of a pound and a half, maybe a pound and a quarter. If you want to give yourself a little bit of leeway, you know, add a little bit more weight and then that'll make the project a little bit easier. And then the next time you do it, you know, take that weight back off and try it again and see what happens. Um, but then I would let this sit up to soft leather hard and then you can go in and I just took, you know, I just took a, um, a needle tool and I just decided on the patterns of my lines and I just lightly drew the pattern in first and then I went in with just one of these loop tools and then I just carved them out okay so I hope that helps um, when you're coming into open studio and just let me know if you have any questions about this project